Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris. In this video, I'm going to be talking about basic addition of sine waves. I'm going to use visual and audio cues so you can easily understand the basics of adding two waveforms together. We're going to look at adding together two waveforms with identical phase and frequency, but with different amplitudes. We're going to add together two waves where only the phase differs. And we're going to add two waves together where only their frequencies vary. The cool thing is that you'll see and hear wave additions being mostly constructive. But in many cases, adding waves together will result in no waves whatsoever. Here we go. In my previous video on sinusoids, we looked at varying amplitude, phase, and period within the sine equation. In this video, we are going to explore simple additions of two similar waveforms. The top is our unchanging base sinusoid in white, and the bottom is the result of adding the base waveform with our modified waveform, in this case, a zeroed wave. If we consider these sound waves, both waves would sound something like this. We will start off by looking at amplitude variation of our modified wave. Amplitude addition is simple enough by combining amplitudes from both waveforms at the same times. The result of adding these two identical waveforms is a new wave with the same frequency, the same phase, but double the amplitude. If one wave has a bigger amplitude, the resulting wave still has the same frequency and phase, but strangely enough, a larger amplitude. If we zero the modified wave, the result is a duplicate of the original wave. If we have a wave that has a negative amplitude, or is inverted and added to our control wave, we end up with a zeroed wave. This result is indistinguishable from adding two waves together where one wave is phase shifted by 180 degrees. If we increase the negative amplitude, a resulting waveform begins to invert. And then back to adding two identical waves. Now what this new wave would sound like. Next we show what happens when we add two waveforms together after phase shifting a modified waveform. Adding a waveform which is phase shifting to 180 degrees results in a zeroed wave or complete cancellation. This result is indistinguishable from adding two identical waveforms where one has a negative amplitude. This is also indistinguishable from adding two identical waveforms where one is being shifted by a positive 180 degrees. Further, phase shifting the modified wave by positive 360 degrees or negative 360 degrees is indistinguishable from adding two non-phase shifted waves together. Here is what the new wave would sound like with the time dependent phase variation modified wave added to the stationary wave. Now we look at adding waves of different frequencies together. We start by increasing the wave to two times the original frequency. The result is a new wave. At some points there is cancellation and at other times reinforcement. As we decrease the frequency, something interesting occurs. A pulse appears in the new waveform which is dependent on the frequency of the modified wave. Now have a listen to the result of a frequency varying waveform added to a non varying waveform. An interesting aspect of adding waveforms together occurs when we talk about harmonics. Harmonics are integer multiples of a fundamental frequency. The most recognizable result of adding harmonics are the distinctive sounds we get from musical instruments. In previous videos, I also talked about harmonics in fiber size acquisition. For now, we're going to look and listen to a simple four harmonic situation. Here's a simple sinusoid with zero phase. This is known as the first harmonic. 
We add in the second harmonic, which is double the frequency, and in this case, half the amplitude of the original. Addition of these two waveforms is the second waveform on the bottom. Next is the third harmonic, which is half the amplitude again, and the result of adding the harmonics together on the bottom. Finally, the fourth harmonic, half the amplitude again, with the addition on the bottom. And now, I'll listen to the result of adding harmonics together. To recap, adding two similar waveforms together results in a new waveform with similar properties to the originals. Basic amplitude variations of like sinusoids will result in a louder or quieter identical waveform. The two sinusoids have the same frequency but different phase, the result is a sinusoid of the same frequency but whose amplitude is phase dependent. If the two sinusoids have different frequencies, the new sinusoid has a new intermediate frequency. I've uploaded the clips of my wave animations if you want to use them for teaching or demonstration purposes. Just give me credit. If you like my video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, and keep rocking. Blue birds fly, I don't know the rest of the song.